I guess I'll do one more. Hello you guys, it is your girl Eternal Film and I am back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius. Summarizing Venus, North Node, or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video for resonate. Comment down below if you felt the vibe and subscribe. And if the reading don't resonate today, maybe next time. Welcome back to the channel you guys and welcome to those of you who are new. Let's see what Spirit has for you. All right, important messages for the sign of Aquarius. This is probably going to be a short one because I just did a really long one. Ah! All right. Page of Swords in reverse, child. I just knew it was gonna be some tea. We got the queen of coins in reverse. <laughs> I just knew it was gonna be some tea, honey. I just knew it. I just knew once I got, I just knew once I got this reading. Queen of swords in reverse, the nine of cups. All right, and bottom of the deck, you got the tower. King of wands in reverse, when we split the deck. Uh, I'm hearing, oh, now I'm hearing that song by Sexy Red. I'm looking for the hoax. <laughs> I feel like drama. Like, I feel like it's drama. You got some haters here. They're talking about, they're gossiping about, they're making a bunch of assumptions about you. But I feel like it's because of the Nine of Cups. Like, they're like talking about how you got what you wanted. Or like, they're like, they could be like assuming like things about you, like how you got what you wanted. Like, how did Aquarius get that house? Or how did Aquarius get that car? How did Aquarius get that job? Or how is Aquarius getting those things? How is Aquarius traveling? How is Aquarius, you know, how are you living that lifestyle, Aquarius? What are you doing? I feel like it's the tower. Like, I feel like they're shocked. I feel like they underestimated your power. They didn't think that you were that powerful. Or... What's this Holy Spirit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, the Queen of Cups in reverse too. Yeah, the Page of Cups. Damn, you got some haters. They could be talking about how like you're like disconnected or like you're immature or something like that. Somebody could be saying like, yeah, I'm about to tell them how I feel. Cause they feel like they're talking about how like you're emotionally unstable or they could even be saying you're mentally unstable. I'm getting emotionally. They're like, Aquarius doesn't know what they want or something is wrong with them or they're, you know, they could be calling you a quack is what I'm hearing. Especially if you're spiritual. They could be calling you like a quack or something. Yeah, Ace of Cups though. I feel like you're very like, I don't know, you're being, you're being loving or you're loving on yourself and they could be saying like you're like emotionally unstable. Definitely feel like you're putting yourself first. Um... Yeah, because I hear somebody saying like something is wrong with you or what's wrong with you or somebody's like, yeah, I'm about to tell them how I feel. What's this? Yeah, the moon. I'm getting somebody's gossiping, of course. I feel like somebody has a lot of emotions built up or a lot of fears or somebody's projecting their fears onto you. Like somebody, yeah, I'm also getting as well. Like somebody's a liar. I feel like somebody's like, I'm I'm very scared for a quarter, so I'm afraid, like I'm concerned. Yeah, they saying like you a quack or you're mentally unstable or some shit. But I'm getting these people are haters, like they're they're gossiping about you. These could even be people you just talked to. Cause I feel like the page of cups is here. So I don't know if you like be mindful who you like express yourself to. Especially if like you like venting to somebody, like they're telling people like you're unstable. Like you're emotionally unstable or like mentally unstable or they're scared for your well-being. Like somebody's like, we need to do an intervention on Aquarius because something's wrong with them. But I feel like it's all fake though. I feel like you blessed. Nine of Cups. 
What's this? I can't make these readings up. The Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Magician in Reverse. What I feel like is they in your business. They're trying to get some sort of information on you. Um, and I feel like with the Magician in Reverse, they're wasting their time. They're powerless. Their words have no meaning as well. So they're trying to find some tea on you or some 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 biz. Like they're trying to know your business, trying to find some tea on you because whatever they're speaking, it has no fire. It has no power to it. Um, They're powerless. Um, They're cowards too. So I'm getting, they don't say this to your face. So I feel like this is an energy where people are talking behind your back with the page of swords in reverse, but it's all lies. It's all assumptions. Um, like I said, I don't know if you're expressing to them or this is like them telling people like somebody's like, I just need a person to talk to or I just need somebody to vent to. And I feel like there's two people in particular talking amongst each other about you. And they're like, I just I just need to get this off my chest. Like and, and somebody's like, yeah, I'm so afraid or I'm so scared for them or their decisions scare me or something. But I feel like as well, like somebody's like trying to find out if you do magic or somebody's trying to figure out how to do magic too. I'm also getting that as well. But I feel like somebody's trying to like get information on you. Cause they don't have proof. They don't have evidence. They don't have all the tools that they need or I don't know what they need from you. What's the, what's the magician in reverse? Uh, and that's too much. It's like five cards, yeah. What's the Magician in Reverse, Holy Spirit? The Page of Cups and the uh, King of Coins. Oh, they think you in a relationship or something. They think you with somebody or dating somebody. Okay, why? They, I feel like they in your business. Oh, so this could be somebody ex because you do got the Queen of Coins here in Reverse. This could be somebody ex. I'm not getting that though. I feel like somebody in your business. Somebody trying to see who you dating, where you work, where you get your money from. Yeah, they feel like somebody's funding you or somebody you have four coins. Somebody's paying for your stability or maybe they feel like you live with somebody or this could even be like a coworker situation. Somebody may think you're dealing with a boss. Or like you're getting a raise because you're sleeping with your boss or something. Like there's a vibe like that. Like somebody feels like you're sleeping with somebody. I don't know. They could be saying, you know. They're like, how is Aquarius getting these things? How is Aquarius living this life? Yeah, the Knight of Coins reverse. They could even be saying like you're not working. I don't know if you're not working, but they could be like you ain't got no job or you're taking advantage of somebody financially or you're living off of somebody else. This could, of course, be like government assistance or something. Yeah, I feel like they just in your business. The people are nosy. Um, what about these hating ass motherfuckers? What's this? Yeah. What's this Holy Spirit? First of all, let's find out what they meant. Like, what the fuck? Why they mad? The six of wands, because you're getting a lot of attention or you succeeded, you're successful or you're doing well for yourself or this is how they feel. They feel like you're doing well for yourself or you're successful or you get a lot of attention or you succeeded. Yeah, of course, especially if you know your worth. Um, but they feel like you're using your worth or you're you're using your, you're holding, you're using your body or you're like, especially if you're celibate, they're like, yeah, you're using your sex as a weapon. I can't make these readings up. Not the ones in my verse. They're saying you're using your sex as a weapon or you're a show off. You're showing off your body or you're using your sex appeal or you're using your good looks or something. These, these are some haters. That's it. That's the reading. What's this? Yeah, three of swords. I feel like they're this is so sad. This definitely could be somebody's ex. Somebody could say like, somebody's just saying like you, <laughs> you, 
you you using your sex appeal to get that man or something. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Somebody like, yeah. Like, you could be bending over to get something off the ground. They're like, yeah, they trying to show their butt off so that my man could look at them. Like, I feel like that's it's, it's giving, like, ratchet. I'm so sorry because I'm getting that. Look, there we go, sexy red. I picked that up in the beginning of reading. I'm looking for the hoe. So they could definitely be calling you a hoe. Oh, my goodness. They're, they're saying like you're promiscuous or you're not genuine. I don't know who these people are. These could be your neighbors. Or like co-worker or people who see you. People are like, you come somewhere and like you could have like a, a, a say you come somewhere with like a low cut shirt. They're like. Yeah, you trying to get my man or you trying to be in my person's face or, you know, if you're a masculine, like, yeah, you 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 got your shirt off and you trying to, like, I don't know. I feel like it's the three of swords, though. Like, I just feel like hurt people hurt people. I feel like somebody is hurt. They're sad. Why? Why they said? Because I feel like, yeah, because it's like eight of swords in reverse. I feel like somebody definitely could have freed themselves from someone, or you're not thinking about this, or it's almost like I'm also getting as well. Yeah, the uh, night of I'm also getting as well. Somebody stopped sleeping with somebody, or. I don't know if this is a third party situation. Uh, somebody stopped dealing with somebody or sleeping with somebody or somebody's partner left them. I'm getting these are single women. I'm so sorry. It could be single men too, but I'm getting single women. Um, nothing against these people, but I'm getting they're single. They're divorced. Um, they man left them or they woman left them or they got cheated on, lied on, and they're heartbroken because... Somebody is like, let me get one more here. Yeah, the seven of cups is delusion. I feel like they, these, I feel like people need somebody to blame. They're blaming you because you look good, you smell good. I don't know what you're doing to these people, but they think you're the reason why their man is rejecting them or their partner is rejecting them, and this person ain't talking to them no more. And somebody started maybe they did i don't know maybe somebody looking at you or somebody is trying to charm you or somebody thinks you're attractive and they used to give attention to these people but i'm getting they like you now i don't know i don't know this could be somebody at your job or this could be somebody in your environment or somebody who got their eye on you it's a king of coins or you're a king of coins, and these are like feminine energy. This could be your ex. If you're a mask, this could be your ex, like stalking your new girl or stalking like anybody who you like. You this could even be your social media. Like if you're a masculine, your ex could be like looking at whose photos you comment under or like or whatever the case is, or you know, somebody could be stalking your job or trying to stalk somebody from your job, or I don't know. I don't know. You know your situation, but I feel like you got a little bit of some stalkers here. They don't know you. I feel like they just talk shit about you because you get a lot of attention. So if somebody's like automatically calling you a whore or a hoe because people like you. They like, yeah, we know they be getting it. We know they be uh getting in and getting in and and hoeing and sleeping around because look at all these people that like them. We know they having sex with her. Like it's 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 insecure. I'm asking as well. Like these people are having a hard time getting wifed up or married. I'm getting they want marriage or they want relationship love or i don't know these people are just bitter about love they're heartbroken so they're mad at you because you're getting attention and and I'm, some of y'all feel like as well like you could be younger um you could still be very youthful or some of y'all i'm not gonna lie i feel like you take really good care of your body i'm getting these could also be people who let themselves go yeah three of wands yeah i feel like you have a future to look forward to um, I feel like some of you guys, you're a really good planner or you travel or something. You travel a lot. Yeah, and they're jealous of your independence. I definitely feel like somebody is trying to leave their spouse or something like that. 
uh, to come towards you. But I definitely feel like with this Nine of Coins, Five of Wands, they're, they're hating on your independence. They're hating on your beauty, too. Like, these are the type of people who know you dead, drop, gorge, like, drop, dead, gorgeous. Like, or you're handsome as hell, fine as hell, but they still say you ugly. Like, they still try to find some reason to say you're ugly, and I'm getting, they're delusional. <laughs> Hella delusional, okay? Because you hitting on something. Yeah, we got the Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all, you see through these people. Because I'm getting Nala from Lion King when she was walking past those hyenas and she had her head up. She was like, knowing she a baddie. Like, come on. Yeah, Tower. I just feel like people just be like, keep your fuck, hold your head up, my guy. Hold your head up. Because I just feel like you find this fuck. You a vibe. You're very attractive. But your energy is just definitely attractive. Like, I'm attracted to your energy. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just giving it. I don't know. It's just, it's the star. <laughs> I'm telling you, you a vibe. Like, I don't know, man. You, you find you just very attractive spiritually too. Like you just, ooh, I don't know. You're just very attractive, but it's definitely giving that vibe. Yeah. King of wands, nine of wands. Yeah. Especially yeah, if you're a masculine too, you just, mm-hmm. He was attractive, okay. But I definitely feel like, yeah, like with this King of Wands, Nine of Wands, I feel like uh, with the Nine of Wands in reverse, it's giving me a vibe where like, you're very confident in who you are too. Like maybe you guys don't really make the same mistakes twice. Like some of y'all, you can learn, you learn from your mistakes. Like you're not really problematic. You learn from your mistakes. Like I feel like you could be dealing, if you're a masculine here, some of y'all, you could be de definitely a feminine energy, but you're very powerful, like you're in your masculine energy. But I'm definitely getting, like, if you are a masculine, though, I feel like you're not the type of person who gonna make a big deal out of stuff. Like, if you break up with somebody, like, you are not about to flip out and bust their tires and, you know, beat on them. And, you know, you're not that type of person, like, you gonna pack your shit and leave. Like, you're not the type of person that's gonna drag that shit out. You're like, okay, it's over, I'm done. Like... You usually don't repeat the same cycles more than once. Like, you're just like, oh, okay. Maybe you spin the block a couple times, but after that, you're like, nah, that's it. I'm done. And you on to the next. You know, you really stand in your power and you're not afraid to be who you are. If you're a feminine, like, I feel like it's the same vibe where it's like, you'll deal with some shit, but after a while, you're like, nah, I'm not about to keep putting up with that shit. You gonna have to go do that with somebody else. Go play in somebody else's face. You have four coins, you know your worth. Yeah, so some of y'all, if you are masking, like, it's rare for people to, like, come across. Like, it's not really rare. I feel like people are just used to dealing with people who are shitty. But I feel like what's going on here is that if you're a masking, like, females assume, like, you're going to put up with that shit because you're a man. But, like, I feel like people are, like, used to, like, men or this is what they portray in society that men don't know they worth or men are sleep with anybody, fuck with anybody, do anything. But uh, there is a lot of men who do know they worth and will say no to your ass. And if you play it with them or play with their emotions, they will block you, cut you the hell off. Like, <laughs> I'm for real. And I feel like if, if you're a female, like, that's your energy. Like, you're like, you said what? You playing them games? You cut the fuck off. Bye. Go play with somebody else. You about to, you know, you're not about to play with me. Go play with somebody else. You know your worth. Yeah, five of wands. People want to compete, play in your face. They want drama. Like, you could be dealing with somebody who's very dramatic. Like, nah, get out of my face. Go play with your mama or something. Don't play with me. Yeah, the devil. Man, I can't make these readings up. The devil. So, people are being obsessed or they're obsessed with you because you be cutting people off. You don't take no nonsense. You're not going to keep repeating. You're not going to keep repeating yourself either. They're going to be like, what's the issue? I told you what the issue is. I understand, like, people want to argue with you or they want you to repeat yourself or they want you to keep going through the shit. And you're like, I'm not. The fuck? You cut them off. They're like, why you cut me off, Aquarius? Why you cut me off? Because you're doing too much. And they're like, give me a chance. Give me a chance. You give them a chance. They do it again. You're like, now you blocked. Shit. I'm asking as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm asking as well. Somebody here, it's like, some of y'all be like, you really don't know that I'm really sparing your emotions because I really could tell you off or I really could put you in your place. Like some of y'all are very humble. And I definitely feel like a lot of people, when they get around you, they could get real big headed. And I feel like some of y'all, you're like, 
I really could tell you about yourself, but I'm really not about to do that. Like, you don't realize, like, I feel like people could get mad at you and they could say, like, the most degrading this, like, this, this type of energy I'm picking up where I feel like there could be people around you when they get mad at you, like, they be getting disrespectful or, like, they'll throw, like, they'll throw really low blows. Like, even if it's, like, partners, like, if y'all get in arguments, like, they would say, like, some disrespectful stuff and you'd be like, what? Like, I really could tell you about yourself. <laughs> like, I really could eat you up though i really could like shred you but i feel like some of y'all be like no i'm gonna spare your emotions i'm gonna spare your feelings because y'all know trauma that shit some for some people lasts forever and words can also last forever so some of y'all you really you really are mindful with your words or you're mindful with your intentions you're very intentional like intentional like you make sure that everything you say you speak the things that you do the actions that you choose to take you're very pre-calculated and you're like, I have to make sure that I am really like being sure or aware of how I react to things or how I do because we all know everything has a consequence. So I feel like a lot of you guys are very strategic. You're like, I'm not about to flip out on you because I know if we get in a fight, I could go to jail. Or I know that, you know, if I don't leave this situation calmly, this could end bad. You know what I'm saying? So you guys are like, you leave in peace. Like, you're the type of person who leave people's lives in peace. Like, you're not about to let that shit burn up in flames. And some of y'all, you probably have been through that in your life, so you've learned from experience. So now when shit just fall through or something end up going bad, you just let it fall away. You're like, okay, well, it's over. It's over. Especially if people try to leave you. Like, yeah, because I'm getting in five cups. So if people, like, leave you or they walk away from you, they're like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to deal with you. Like, they expect for you to chase them. And I'm getting some of y'all, you're like, thank you for leaving because now I have a reason to go. Because I feel like that some of y'all, this could be that type of situation where, you know, you could be dealing with people who are very crazy or <laughs> they flip the fuck out. Because I'm getting that little bit of obsessed energy or I, I need to possess you. Some of y'all, you could have gotten in fights with friends or family members before, like really bad fights or friends with friends, family member exes because you wanted to leave or cut them out your life. And they fucking drag that shit out, like bust your tires or something like that. And you're like, oh, I gotta go. Yeah, y'all dealing with people who, who want to possess you. So just be mindful as well with like people you hang around because I'm getting like a jealousy from like random people too. Like you could be the type of person, like I said, where like you could just be like new in an environment and you got people like wanting to be, wanting to bully you or hate on you because you're, you're beautiful or you're handsome or you're well-mannered. So just be mindful of that as well because I feel like some of y'all, there's a little bit of an energy here where like you could be very innocent and like people target you because of their insecurities and that's very sad because i feel like there's a lot of people who really don't be having reasons not to like you but they they just do because of who you are and how you carry yourself and even though you may be like a hermit you're dealing with people who get offended by the attention that you get so this is the type of people who will befriend you and then they will spite you type of person who will befriend you and then fight you in front of your friends or fight you in front of a bunch of people or like befriend you and like expose all your secrets when they get mad off that one little situation they blow that shit i feel like, I feel like that i'm getting an energy where like people blow everything out of proportion with you like you could say the littlest thing and people would drag that shit out and they would use it as an opportunity to like shoot you down i'm definitely getting that i'm getting that like y'all are one of those people where people just it's because you're i'm telling you it's because you have like this royal essence about you you're very royal or you're very creative you're very mysterious as well like i feel like you 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 and your own energy and you're very high vibing and like it's sad but i'm definitely getting that where like people drag shit out of proportion yeah 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 i feel like that knee help in reverse like i'm i'm getting you're dealing with shallow people aquarius very shallow yeah five of cups like you're dealing with people who are very sad or disappointed or they're very shallow shallow minded um so just like i said you don't have nothing to be afraid of but i feel like you just need to be mindful of people you hang around because I get, I'm getting y'all get like random haters, like people you don't even know who just don't like you for no reason. Uh, they don't have a reason. They just don't like you. Yeah. 
And I feel like it's, you know, with the lovers here, a lot of you guys, you're in alignment here. Or people view you as somebody who's perfect. Y'all got a lover coming in too. A counterpart. Yep, Ace of Cups. Y'all got a lover coming in, a counterpart, and somebody's going to think you're like the perfect person for them. I'm getting some of y'all, this could even be like your soul family, your soul tribe, but I'm definitely getting love here, a marriage, a union here. Um, this person is going to resonate with you. I'm getting you're finally going to come into alignment with somebody who gets you. Because I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting, of course, some of y'all could be going through life, like trying to find people who really like get you or resonate with you. Because I feel like you guys get around people and they instantly hate you off back. See, now it's starting to make sense about your last reading where I was like, why do these people like, it's, it's giving that vibe where it's like, People get around you and before they even know you, they don't like you. And you're like, what the fuck did I do? So some of you guys are like, I just hope one day I find people who really like resonate with me or like get me because you can get around people. And because you're like very quirky or funny or like mysterious or closed off, like people all of all, like they immediately assume you're something you're not. And some of y'all, especially if you are very attractive, that is a gift and a curse because it's a gift because of course, beauty is a gift. But I definitely feel like with the um, curse about it is that people assume like you sleep around or people assume like um, you're going to steal their man, you're going to steal their woman or people assume you're a snob, you're a mean girl, you're a mean guy, like you're just a bully, you're going to, you're going to, you think you're better than everybody, like people assume that shit and I'm getting, it's like for no, I'm getting some of y'all, they don't even know you, it's off of face value, I'm getting assumptions, people assume that you're shallow, so, but they're obsessed with you though. I'm telling you, you could be a hermit. People are obsessed with being a part of your life. And that's why I said, like, just be careful because this could even be a situation where like people cannot handle rejection from you. So if you tell like somebody, like, say you hang around somebody, you realize, oh, okay, we're not going to get along. We're not really going to be cool. I'm not really going to be able to vibe with you like I thought. These are the type of people who will gang up on you and try to like, fight you or like get in some sort of conflict with you or like bully you you know just because you don't want to hang with them this is the type of people where like if this is like a person trying to pursue you you reject them like they would do some weird ass shit to ret retaliate or stalk you so just i'm telling y'all I'm, I'm already getting this vibe in this reading just be mindful of the people that you be surrounding yourself with okay keep it cute keep it classy um of course still be confident but I'm definitely getting a lot of you guys could definitely be walking alone. Uh, you're very mysterious. Um, but people are so hell bent on like getting in your life just so they could affect your energy. Okay. Not everybody have good intentions, but I do feel like you got somebody coming in your life here who you may really vibe with, who really going to be on your frequency. Are you coming in the group into like a friendship or something? But like I said, be mindful. As soon as I cut the deck, opportunists. Low lives who want to bring you down. I'm telling you, people come to you or gravitate towards you simply to bring you down. You got people who want to befriend you, who gossip about you, talk about you behind your back, but they're only trying to befriend you to like sabotage you in some sort of way. So just be mindful of that because you got obsessed, like obsessed people. These are even people who want to pursue you in like a relationship, but like you got options and they're like obsessed with being your only one. And I'm getting these are the type of people who will stalk you. So just know how to say no. Set boundaries with people. Um, if you are saying no, I mean, you really can't kiss everybody ass. You can't please everybody. So I feel like if you got some people here who are talking about you, gossip about you, they mad because you not kicking it with them or hanging with them. And they feel like, okay, well, we're going to talk about you or we're going to spread rumors about you. Let them fucking talk. Who cares? Just keep your ass over there. Don't bring that energy over here. That's what I feel like. Because I feel like you could be dealing with people who are very petty. Yeah, you're dealing with a home record. That's what, they, that's what they're saying. You, I'm telling y'all, they, they calling you a hoe or something like that. They're like, yeah, you trying to steal our man or you trying to steal our woman or something. Yeah, stand up for yourself. That's what I'm getting. Some of y'all, you stood up to these people um or you're standing up for yourself or somebody like i said i don't know somebody's about to address you but i feel like somebody could also be coming towards you talking about some yeah i need to tell them how i feel so i don't know somebody could be coming towards you about to tell you how they feel yeah we got royal dna i'm telling you i can't make these readings up you got royal dna you're royal that's why they that's why they feel the way that they do you have royal dna Okay, 
Yeah, it says narrow-minded, skeptical, stubborn. I can't make these readings up. Y'all dealing with people who are narrow-minded. They skeptical of you, though. Like, you make them paranoid <laughs> about their life. Yeah, someone is getting readings. So, yeah, some of y'all, you can make them paranoid as well. They could be thinking you're doing black magic. Wasn't I picking that up at the beginning of the reading? Especially if you give readings or you watch readings or you're into, of course, spirituality. They're assuming, like, you do black magic. So, I'm asking as well, like, people are afraid to say shit to you because they're like, they're they going to do that witchcraft on me or some shit. <laughs> Uh, especially if people have done you dirty. They're like, oh, they're going to do witchcraft. They're going to do a return to sender. Let me sit down. Yeah, but I feel like you're genuine supporters and we have Antichrist. Yeah, some of y'all, you are a genuine person. But I'm getting you dealing with the Antichrist, y'all. I'm getting that. I'm getting, but I'm also getting as well, like you guys actually, were, you, you get a lot of love. But I feel like the thing is, the Antichrist, what happens is they send random ass haters in your life to try to like change your perspective, change your perception, change your perspective on life, on people in general. So y'all feel like lonely or feel like you're, you're like, you're never like wanted or feel like you never fit in. Like that's from the Antichrist, y'all. Like I feel like, of course, you being unique and you being who you are, of course, you're going to feel like. And uh, um, an outsider just because of how unique and regal you are um, but I definitely feel like there is a lot of people out there who will fuck with you love your vibe think you dope as fuck but of course when you got random ass haters or you come across people and of course there's always a plant in every environment and you come across those plants and the environments who operate out of the antichrist spirit and they're just there to bring people down separate people spread gossip and hate and you know unfortunately that shit is like poison it's like it's a domino defect i mean it's like it's like disease it spreads and then you have like a bunch of haters for no reason off of one ass one serpent but the beauty about your energy aquarius because you are so royal you're the type of person even if there is a serpent where they're spreading hate or disease or gossip. I feel like the more people are around you, the more they end up changing their perspective. Like you just being you and standing in your energy will stand up for yourself. You just being you changes people's mindsets and it really shifts the environment because you are so high vibing. It doesn't matter because the light always outshines the dark. So a lot of you guys, sometimes you get in environments of people, what happens is the dark wants to get rid of you. It wants to, it wants to blow out your candle because it wants to keep the energy dark so i feel like when you come around people try to push you push you but no nah, stand up for yourself when you stand up for yourself it eventually your light gets bigger and it gets bigger and it outshines the darkness so just be mindful of that because i feel like a lot of people try to get you fired or get you kicked out of an environment get you put out of a place because they don't want you to shine as bright as you do, but I'm getting, but what happened is the devil don't want you to change the environment and to raise the vibrations. Okay. Yeah. Cause we have poverty, homelessness. Yeah. I'm definitely getting, I'm getting people are like in poverty, homelessness, struggling, or they have poverty stricken mindsets. They're spiritually dead. They have no fruit. They, 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 they have no harvest. You are harvesting. So they're blaming your harvest on like prostitution or they're blaming your harvest on like uh, manipulation. Or maybe they could be saying like you're staying, you're living off of some sort of government or state assistance or something. They're like saying it's not yours or whatever the case is. Yeah, they don't believe. I can't make these readings up. They don't believe you. They don't believe in like your success or they don't believe you did it on your own or something. Or they don't believe that it's through pure intentions or some shit. Yeah, predator. Do not trust them. That's what I'm getting. Don't trust these people. Especially if these people call themselves trying to like... Especially if these people call themselves trying to like um, come into your life. Like I said, don't trust them because they be talking about you. Like bad. Like, yeah, they feel you owe them blind rebellion. That's what I'm getting. I'm also getting as well, like, they're, like, jokingly saying, because I hear somebody joking, talking about, you know how people be like, I when I first met you, I thought that you was going to be an asshole, or when I first met you, I thought you was going to be mean, or when I first met you, I just, yeah, no, when you first met me, you were insecure. I intimidated you. That's the truth. Yeah, bad reputation. I can't make these readings up. They're like, ah, well, I mean, like, they feel like you owe them something. 
They're like, I didn't know. Or these could even be people who heard through the grapevine something about you. And they're like, well, shit, such and such told me. I didn't know. Like, no, you should have came and asked me. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but you should give me another chance. No, I don't have to give you another chance because who the fuck goes off of he said, she said. So like people are like, I didn't know you should give me another chance. Or I didn't know. Like, okay, well, why wouldn't you come ask me? So you just started hating because somebody else hating? Get the fuck out of here. You're a predator. I don't trust you. Yeah, we got business partner and we got fake friend. What about this? Time to use your gift, give back, spend time with loved one, an ex-spouse, ex-partner. I was definitely getting that, so I don't know. Some of y'all could have had a fake friend. This person definitely could have been um, involved with like a give and take here with your ex. What about this fake friend? Mm -hmm. Denied. So yeah, I don't know if your ex and a fake friend is denying that like, they was ever involved with something. Yeah, they could have stole from you or something. There was a transaction here. I'm definitely getting that with business partner. These people were working together or they were, I don't know if you was giving your ex some money or you was giving a friend some money and they was giving it to your ex or some of y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm definitely getting like somebody here was either giving your ex money or your ex was giving your friend some money. Sorry. But they was getting it from you. So, or this is their fake friend. Maybe this is their friend. Like, this is somebody they called their friend, but it was really a side piece or something. Yeah, I'm getting it. It was given. If, if it wasn't your fake friend, it was their friend. But they was calling it their friend, but it was really their side piece. They was giving that. Yeah, I can't make this reason. We got new income. Yeah, I'm getting somebody was giving. My mom's getting, well, if they checks were short, they was giving it to their side piece. That's why. Yeah, not your person. Yeah, I'm getting your ex was sharing their money with somebody else and you. So I don't know if this was you giving them money or they was giving you money or their checks was coming up short or they, they something was going on where somebody was sharing their money with a third party. And I'm getting, I don't know if they were supposed to be sharing it with you or paying bills at home, but I'm getting they was coming up short or they was taking from you and giving to somebody else. Yeah, inheritance. So some of y'all, you could have a new income coming in and inheritance here, money coming in. Yeah, you have new love coming in. Yep, and we have influence. You have influence. So some of y'all, you could be gaining like a new opportunity or you could be gaining a following. Yep, because you are in your purpose. Beautiful energy. Final message, Holy Spirit. Face your fears. I'm definitely getting that. Face your fears, Aquarius. You are on the right path. Look, man, I'm telling you, you shine bright. Okay, make these readings up. You shine bright, Aquarius. Stay calm. Don't even react. Stay calm. It's okay to make mistakes. And it says, be with the ones who help you shine. I'm definitely getting that. Be with people who support you, who love seeing you shine. Okay, people who are, you're going to know who they are because they're not going to judge you. Um, they're not going to like, you're going to know because the energy is going to flow naturally. It's not going to feel forced. Y'all know how to read energy. Let me get a couple more Holy Spirit. Look, step into your purpose. I'm definitely getting that. So some of y'all, you have came into alignment with your purpose. Step into your purpose. And some of you guys, I feel like you have stepped into your purpose. Let me get one more. It says be sexy because that's what I'm getting. You can't help that you attractive, Aquarius. You fucking can't help it. Be sexy. Let be who, be who you are. Let love in because I'm definitely getting that. Some of you guys definitely could be dating, okay, meeting new people. Let love in. I feel like there is people around you who support you, who like you, who fuck with you. Don't pay no mind to these haters because it says your past does not dictate your future. That's what I'm getting. So if these are people from your past hating on you because you're moving forward in your life, that shit ain't got nothing. It ain't going to hold no weight in this new version or this new chapter of your life. So I'm getting if they are spreading rumors, it's with the same lame ass people you left behind anyway. So I'm getting people you left behind that's talking shit about you. I'm getting they're in the past though. I'm getting the only way the past can connect with the future is if you allow the devil in your life. And that's what I'm getting. A lot of you guys have shut the door on these people and they ain't got shit but to talk shit behind your back because they damn sure can't say it to your face. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below for the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.